fucking win, bro. Let's get this fucker on the road, dude. How about that? 40 points for Shea and a massive win over the Suns, bro. We needed that, dude. We needed that on every single angle, man. And having Dort step up for the 20 points that he did, man, it was insane. He was on fire in the first half, shooting those threes. I love what Dort's doing right now, and we can count on him for so much. And icing that game, bro, like he just did, unbelievable job by Dort. Big minutes from um, Joe off the bench, Lindy Waters off the bench, and then finally Aaron Wiggins off the bench. Mm. These guys got their minutes in short spurts, but they were committed to it. I'm watching them do the post-game interview right now, and they're all doing it together, man, because you know what? That's this is all win. fucking love, dude. All love. Team win, man. And, and J-Dub didn't have a great offensive game tonight only five points man but he didn't take a lot of shots which i love to see and then he focused on getting rebounds 10 rebounds five assists two steals one block j-dub did everything out there for the win you gotta see it gotta love it but man if you're gonna give this uh the the game ball to anybody there's no doubt shay's 40 point dime was unbelievable tonight he did something crazy tonight and it was great to see it was an interesting situation because coach was constantly looking for players who could really get it done. Uh, the whole first half was just like us not able to really get any groove going. The third quarter, right at the end of the third quarter, we found a groove, we cut it to six. In the fourth quarter, we came out and really, we played at a different level than we've seen in a long time. We looked like the better team. We looked like a team that was in the playoff race. Right Sit. now, we're on the outside looking in when it comes to the actual playoffs, but we're, look, we're looking like a team that's closing strong. A big win against Phoenix goes a long way because obviously they're a team that's going to go deep in the playoffs. Yeah, man. Josh Giddy being the facilitator out there, 16 points, six assists, six rebounds, two of which, which were offensive. This is what we're talking about, guys. When we're saying these guys are developing at a high rate and then they're learning how to step it up in that fourth quarter, bro, that was what we did. We locked down that defense in that fourth quarter, and then we were able to um, dominate on that offensive side. It was truly spectacular. It was great to see, and a huge shout-out to Wiggins, man. That fourth quarter that he played was truly masterful. Wiggins played one of those fourth quarters that you got to stop and just follow him around the entire fourth quarter because he made a huge, huge difference. I want to talk about our starter shooting from three real quick. Dort was four for six. Jay Will was two for three. Josh Giddy was one for two. That's big time, man. And we just stayed after it, man. It was a tough game, but we felt like if we could just get things going, we could turn things around. We did it, bro. And now the season is starting to look quite a bit up. This was one of the tough games we had. Now we've got a couple of games coming up that are winnable, but they're going to be tough. This goes a long way. Yeah, and, and, and think about it like this. The Suns shot 41 or 42% really from three-point range, guys. 42% from three-point range. And we were able to pull that game out. Come on. That's huge. That's huge for the confidence for these guys. That's proof that we belong in the top echelon of the league. I mean, I get it. I get it. But we're here in the playoff minutes getting these playoff minutes, guys. I'm telling you, we're making a push for a better seed than we already um, we currently have right now because the coach believes in these guys, the fans believe in these guys, and now they believe in themselves. And that is the most powerful thing you can have. Absolutely, man. We love what Lindy Waters brought to the table. To me, this was all about him in so many ways defensively. I know there's other players who played better, but to me, like he's a special player and we're cheering for him. We've got so much to say, guys. Ultimately, though, we appreciate you for joining us. And if you want to take the time to listen to why we think Coach Chip England has the special touch from God, join us. Dave, where are we going to click? You're going to put that.